Wang Shu In. Wang Shu In. Do you remember this place, Granny? Yes. The fish here is very delicious. And if you look out into the distance, you can always spot a bird that's been left behind by its flock. I believe I hmm. used to have a room here. It had a window. Yes, yes, I spent a lot of time looking out that window. I'll come with. Paimon's still having some trouble understanding what she's talking about, but... If she's so familiar with this place, that must mean she lived here, right? Wait, huh? Whoa! Zhao, what are you doing here? Zhao, what did I say? <laughs> I sensed a non-human presence and decided to come take a look. If you're here, then there's likely no trouble afoot. I suppose there's no cause for concern. It's been a while, Cloud Retainer. I see you have returned to your previous form. Wait, wait. So, you've met her in this form before? I have indeed. I fought alongside her in this form on many occasions during the Archon War. Oh, <laughs> Okay. Behold, the glory of one's newest invention, <laughs> the Bang on. Bang Continuous Fire Mechanism. Hands up and surrender, or be prepared to face the full might of the Adepti. Bang Bang. Um, okay, I'll just... <laughs> look at Paimon's face, like the smart look. <laughs> An impressive imitation. <laughs> Paimon knows her all too well. Even so. Cloud Retainer was not always as ostentatious as you describe. You may be unaware, but her talent with Adepti Sigils is just as formidable as her skill in mechanics. The Archon War reached its peak after Guizhong's death. The Cloud Retainer who fought beside me in those devastating battles was taciturn and solemn, only speaking when she had to activate her sigils. A Cloud Retainer who barely talks? I can't picture it. But what happened after that? If you were so powerful in your human form, why did you decide to take up your bird form again? Once one had bid farewell to the world of mortals, what use would one still have for such a shape? When dwelling between mountain and forest, away from the struggles and troubles of the mortal world, a mortal form is hardly the most fitting of choices. After the war, Cloud Retainer retired to Mount Outsong, only revealing herself to the occasional visitor, and always in her avian form. Although I do believe there was an occasion some 30-odd years ago when she decided to don her human form. I believe it was for the purpose of... Hmm. One believes there is little need to relive bygone matters. Granny, are you 
okay? Uh, back then, at this place, I... Perhaps this conversation should end here. I shall take my leave now. Should you encounter any trouble, you need only call my name. However, given that you are traveling with Cloud Retainer, I trust you are in good hands. Everyone, and there he goes. I think Granny is finally beginning to remember her past. Slowly now, calm your mind and recount <laughs> what has been recalled. A long time ago, I stayed here to recuperate from my illness. Huh. So what Xingqiu said was true! You did fall ill! Was that why you went into hiding? I don't remember. I'm very sorry, but... But I can't even remember the name of my illness. The only thing I can remember is that it took a great toll on me, and there was no cure for it. I was confined to my room in Wangshu Inn, where I spent many days unconscious. I'd come to every once in a while and stare at the migrating birds outside the window. It was a solemn sight. I remember crying, but I'm not even sure I knew why. One day, I met a traveling merchant. Upon hearing of my illness, he sold me a bottle of soul-revitalizing tea pills. Um, <clears throat> that's, um... Let's um, analyze this uh, image while we're at it, okay? Um, so she met one day a traveling merchant, merchant, right? Upon hearing of, of her illness, he sold her a bottle of soul revitalizing tea pills. The way he's dressed reminds me of um, Inazuman Aya. Uh, yeah. So, maybe he was someone from Inazuma? I don't know. He told me that the pills were concocted using Adepti blood and could be used to alleviate my symptoms. Sure enough, I made a full recovery. My illness remained dormant for several decades after that. So, um, the dementia suffering from now is actually... Wait, but if your illness remained dormant for several decades, are you saying that what you're going through now is just a relapse of what happened all those years ago? All thanks to the pills that you managed to keep the symptoms in check? Uh, Paimon's brain kind of hurts. Do you remember anything else? I'm sorry, I don't. <sighs> oh, if only I wasn't so useless. Hey, you're not useless. You've done so much for me. Watch me grow up raised me how could you say that about yourself oh fret not dear child granny was just a bit frustrated that's all the recovery of a person's memories is a gradual process finding pieces of one's past is always superior to not finding anything at all let us make haste to the next location 
Next location. Next location. Jayun Trust. Oh, why don't we go to the area I mean, north no, of Jayun Trust next? Jayun Trust. There isn't really a landmark there, so where should we start? Oh, Paimon's got it. Let's check out the houses in the area first. After all, if she was there for okay. any length of time, then she would have stayed somewhere, right? Oh, Paimon's really got her thinking cap on today. At this rate, we'll recover all of Granny Wendai's memories in no time. <laughs> all right. I'm going to... I see everything! <laughs> Solidify! There is no escape! The hunter... becomes... Anything about this place, Granny Wendy? Let me think. I feel like I've been here before. But I don't think I stayed here too long. I might have just rested here briefly before continuing on my way. Got it. That's okay. There are still plenty of other places we can check. Wait a second. Okay. If I remember well, that correctly, was just... I believe Art. I brought. Ah, yes. I brought some sweet snacks sweet with snack. me. Go on, take some. You need to eat a lot if you want to grow big and strong. Oh, thank you! Then Paimon will help herself! Okay. Well. Let's, um... Move on. Paimon sees an abandoned house! Why don't we take a break over there? This place... It's... Mm. Did you remember something, Granny? I... I remember... Show you... This... It was a moonless night. I had been injured. So your grandpa was supporting me. We fled together with some being in the fog behind us in hot pursuit. Isn't that a miasma? I had exhausted my strength when the labor pains came on, so we took refuge in this house. Your grandpa set up a barrier outside, but neither of us knew if it could hold the monsters back. I remember that night. I remember falling to my knees, reciting a prayer over and I alone am the source of this sin. Punish me as you wish for forsaking my oath, but spare my innocent child. Sin? Oath? Did you do something wrong? I don't know. I don't remember. I only remember praying in the darkness with all my strength until the sun finally rose again and the fog cleared out. Yeah, so this first sentence here, I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, that was from um, the trailer for version 4.4. I remember that vividly. Eventually, the house was filled with the sound of my baby's first cries. That baby was your father. I remember 
I clutched him tight to my chest and wept tears of joy. It was the first time I'd ever felt such happiness in my life. My dad? He was my pride and joy. And so are you, Shuyu. You're so much like him, and I love you both so much. But you're... always going to be different from me. I... Why? Just... What did I do? I don't care what you might have done, Granny. You'll always be the person I love more than anything. You're too sweet, Shuyu. I'm lucky to have you with me. If not for you, I would not have had the courage to come here to try to remember what I had forgotten. All right. Let's not stand around any longer. There's one place left, yes? Let's go take a look. If one recalls correctly, the next place should be Qingyu Peak. You and I, how fair is your health? I may be a bit slow, but I'll do my best to keep up. I'm sorry to keep everyone waiting. Climb on, I shall carry you to the top. Oh, such lightness of weight. All those who grow old grow frail in the end, do they not? First, you lose your memory, then your health. Eventually, you end up losing everything. My only wish is to depart this world with a lucid mind, to free myself of this torment and the burden it places upon others. Fret not, you have my aid in this endeavor. Well, Janin is helping out, but yeah, apparently she gave, she gave birth to this house. She's dead. <laughs> Fog, though. Is Fog at the abyss or something else? <sighs> We're finally here. Hmm. Does this place feel familiar to you, Granny Wendy? Let me see... How strange... Have I... Lived here before? It's your time. When we were at Wangshu Inn and the abandoned house earlier, though I couldn't remember everything, I still felt a sense of familiarity. I could easily picture myself in those places. But here, I don't have that feeling. Uh, perhaps I did come here in the past, but it just didn't leave a strong impression on me. But did the stories get it wrong then? We can't expect them to get everything right. Yeah, that's true. But they're also the only thing we have to go off of. Paimon was hoping this place would jog Granny Uendai's memory just like the others. I'm sorry to disappoint you two. It's alright. We're not going to give up yet. We'll figure something else out. Just you wait. Thank you. If only I could remember. Huh? That way. What's that mountain? Um, Mount Outson? Um, Jianyun City Cloud Retainer's abode? Oh, let Paimon look! Huh? Isn't that Mount Outson? Looks like we've come full circle! <laughs> yeah, really. Mount Outson. Mount Outson. Granny, are you okay? Don't push yourself, Granny. It's okay if you can't remember. You shouldn't do something that makes you sad. Mount Outsong, I... What am 
Am I really? Hmm. Mount Altsong holds some familiarity to you? It does, but I... I can't go back. Are you feeling unwell? My head... It feels all heavy and dizzy. I... Just... What is wrong with me? Clem... Miss Yanyun, is there anything you can do? Let us go to Mount Outsong. But... Fret not. All will be well. You and I, you have already given more than enough to the pursuit of this endeavor. You may leave the rest to me. I've prepared something that can aid you in suppressing the fear in your heart and restoring your lost memories. It currently resides at Mount Outsong. I never leave anything to chance. All will reveal itself when we arrive. All right. So, um, go to Mount Alson. And, uh, the, uh, the mechanism that I need there for, uh, Rani Hyundai. <gasps> This is it. Huh? But isn't this the mechanism that you were tinkering with when we first got here? Oh, is it another invention of yours? Precisely. A recent one at that. I am most pleased with the result. I call it the Suspensus Somnium Mechanism. Suspensus Somnium Mechanism. Machine suspend Somnia. It periodically releases a soft breeze, which, when paired with a gentle adeptal tune, can help the listener subconsciously relax and even enter a semi hypnotic state. Soothing agitation hmm. and anxiety. Relieving exhaustion and insomnia, its potential uses are numerous indeed. And of course, it can also aid in the recovery of lost memories. Oh, what a cool gadget! But if you had it all along, why did you keep it to yourself until just now? We could have come to Mount Outsong right off the bat and saved time on a lot of floating! How preposterous. <laughs> Had you and I not recalled much of her past through her own efforts, the device would have nothing to draw upon. We Adepti can only help those who first resolve to help themselves. Had she lacked such determination and strength of character, one would have little to offer in way of assistance. Paimon thinks she gets it now. Uh, hey, what's that other thing? As previously mentioned, a gentle oh, adeptal this. tune is required to take full advantage of the mechanism. One secured such a tune from Streetward Rambler. Only with her melodies can the mechanism Rambler. reach its peak power. So, the adeptal tune that she purchased, or she secured from... Uh, uh, Street World Rambler, AJ Madame Ping, actually was part, I mean, would be part of this mechanism. The suspended some somnium can I, can I just? 
Only with her melodies can the mechanism reach its peak power. Oh, Paimon can feel what you mean. Paimon's body feels light as a feather. It's as if she's lying down on a warm patch of grass after a super satisfying meal. <sighs> Paimon. And you, you and I. Is the mechanism helping you to relax? <sighs> it appears she has already yeah. succumbed to the depths of reverie. Come, join one on this side. We shall give her some time to herself. Reverie. The drought is over, but why do you look like you want to cry? Ah, oh, it's crazy. <laughs> oh. Okay. The potion, it's nearly run its course. I've never regretted meeting you, not even for a second. Please, please, no. What a shot. Have you forgotten? You. This is the world you left behind. One of gentle breeze and morning dew, perfectly straddled betwixt the realms of heaven and earth. This is your home. This is where you belong. You should have never left. The you of the past. The me from not that long ago. We should have never. She's an adept. She's a. <laughs> she's an adeptus. The white rain. This place is so familiar. <laughs> I... I mean, I had a feeling, but wasn't sure. Granny! Granny, are you okay? Cloud Retainer. Your memories have returned. Wait, did you just call her by her full name? Does that mean... Yep. It means what it means. <laughs> And that's why when Zhang Yun I saw her for the first time, she said, Do we know each other? Yes. I now remember everything. Everything. Granny, please don't cry. I'm here. I'm here. 
Oh, don't worry, my dear child. Granny is fine. I'm so sorry, everyone. You've gone to so much trouble on my behalf. It's all come back to me now. The most important thing that I had forgotten was the truth of what I once was. <sighs> One can sense the guilt that now plagues your conscience. Reclaiming a truth long buried is sure to come with a myriad of complex emotions. Perhaps one should recount the story on your behalf while you- No, it's okay. Now that I've remembered, I must face my memories head on. Shuyu, everyone, I cannot thank you enough for all your help. I'm ready to tell you my story, if you're willing to listen. <laughs> yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Um. We do. Give a like if you, if you, if you haven't done so already, and subscribe to the channel as well. Please, Granny, don't force yourself. What happened in the past doesn't matter. I love you more than anything. Nothing you say can change that. I know, dear child. My feelings for you are exactly the same. It is for this reason that you deserve to know the truth. Some time ago, I made a terrible mistake. One for which I could never atone. Is this the sin that you mentioned in Joyun Karst? What happened? I am, in truth, not a human being. My real form, one that I held for centuries, was that of a wild crane. I spent many, many years living on Mount Outsong, bathing in the soft breeze and drinking the sweet dew of the mountains. At some point, I somehow gained wisdom and sentience. The Lord of the Mountain, Cloud Retainer, became aware of my existence and began to share many stories with me. She even passed on the secret of cultivation to me. Though she never took me on as a formal disciple, I always saw her as my master. Whenever she took out her tools to work on mechanisms or new inventions, I would also stand next to her and watch. I even contemplated completing my training and Look becoming an adeptus in my own right. I followed her teachings, and time gradually passed us by. Until that fateful day 50 yeah. years ago. Y even the crabs and adeptus. <laughs> Fifty years ago. Fifty years ago? So, fifty years ago was during the drought that struck Liwei, right? That's right. Master regaled me with many stories of her past deeds. From them, I learned how she had saved people from a similar crisis in the past. She was the one I looked up to the most. More than anything, I dreamt of becoming an adeptus like her. I wanted to travel the land like she had, relieving suffering wherever I went. But I was still far from being a real adeptus. I possessed no ability to take on human form and fit in with the crowd. Once she learned of my desires, Master prepared a special dose of human mimicry potion for me. She warned me that the potion's hey. effects would only last ten years, and if I were to fail to return to my original form at the end of that time, I would forever forget my past as a crane, and become something neither human, beast, nor adeptus. Oh no... So that was... the source of your dementia all along! 
never turn back into your train, though. Was it because of Grandpa? Indeed, I fell in love. Though he was human, he had spent his entire life training on Mount Tianhang. When we met, it was not only my first foray into the world below, but his as well. Although clumsy and impulsive as he was, you'd think he was the real strange bird among the two of us. But still, just like me, he cared deeply about the world and wanted, more than anything, to cleanse it of all pain and suffering. I could not help but fall for him. But my time continued to tick away. Those ten years passed by in a flash. Yet, I did not want to leave his side, so I... I... Oh no, what happened next? I committed an offense. I wanted to stay with him, even if it meant living a life full of pain and suffering. Even if it meant that I would eventually turn into a monstrosity. I knew I had betrayed Master's hopes, but I was too ashamed to face her. So I wrote her a long letter instead and asked someone to leave it outside her abode. I was convinced that she would not support my decision, and I lacked the courage to speak to her face to face. In my shame, I fled and tried to hide from the world such that no one would be able to find me again so that's why the nameless erin hid herself away but that was only the beginning of my troubles i began to suffer from a strange illness my memories became hazy and confused and i could no longer keep myself awake I understood that my pain was caused by my refusal to return to the life I was fated to lead. Along with my memories as a crane, I soon forgot the true cause of my suffering as well. I knew only that I had committed a sin. All I could do was pray for forgiveness, even if I had long forgotten what needed to be forgiven. Looking back, I was beyond lucky to have come across that traveling merchant at Wangshu Inn. It was such a fortunate coincidence that we were there at the same time. If it weren't for those soul revitalizing tea pills, I probably would have. <sighs> yep. So, the traveling merchant was Shan Yun. Coincidence? Why did I ever think it was a coincidence? Tea pills concocted using the blood of an adeptus? No, it couldn't be. Master, don't tell me. Back then, that merchant was actually... <sighs> yeah, it was her. Wow. So wait, so that means she used her own blood in order to, to help and I? Human custom would dictate the conferral of gifts to be in order when one's progeny is wedded, would it not? Consider the pills a symbol of one's best wishes. Ah. <sighs> So when I tried to conceal my name and mistakes from the world and hide myself away in perpetuity, the only person I managed to deceive was myself. You knew where I was all along. One still remembers when you were but a fledgling. You possessed a certain fondness for a particular game. You would hide yourself among a group of wild cranes and... Ask one to pick you out from among the flock. One found you with such ease every time. Tis the truth most evident. 
One always recognizes Sweet. one's own, no matter what form they may take. Wait, wait, wait! Paimon's confused! So, Cloud Retainer, you found you and I again? But how? When? And what happened after that? <sighs> Perhaps it is now time for one to recount the rest of the tale. Okay. Here we go. 